I want to get into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame because you're what are you the president or something? What yeah. are you? What, what are, are you on a board? <laughs> what are you with them? What is it? There is a board. I'm not on the actual board, which would be an honor. But yeah, well, what, you got to be somebody like really important to be on the board. Fram, you're very important. You vote, don't you? I do vote. They have this um, this panel after the, they decide. You know, after the board and committees talk about who should be, you know, on the list to be nominated. Because, you know, they do all genres. So, so there's all they kinds do all of... genres. Then there's about 600 people. Wow. That are, you know, rock, rock journalists, musicians, me, who vote. Well, how do you... Okay, <laughs> well, vote. then hold on. Back up. Don't just brush past it. I think that's impressive that you're in this group. How Do they just approach you and say, hey, Leslie, we know you've worked in music all these years. Yes. Be in our group. We'd like you to be part of the 600 panelists because you've done different genres. Because, you know, between alternative and I did top 40 for a few years. Oh, that's right. Country. So, and, you know, I still book artists in all genres. Okay. So, yeah, every year I get to vote. It's You get that ballot. What is that like? What do you get? Do you get like a fancy packaging yeah. or is it just in an envelope that says, hey, here you no, go? No, it's a nice ballot. And then it's got information on each nominee. And then if I don't, if I'm not as familiar with an artist, I'll go listen to the music because I also vote for the Grammys and I take it seriously. You so vote for I'll the Grammy? You, you vote for that too? Yeah. I'm a Grammy voter. Are you in that? What is that the same kind of thing? There's a group or the is Grammy it? voters are, you have to, you know, if you're an artist or you're part of, you know, you've released music for me because I have advised on some albums, oh, I get to vote. Damn, you're important. I did not know you vote on Grammys. Let me you, tell you what, that first Grammy ballot that's got thousands of... Oh, so you have to daunting. go to... Is that just eliminating people or is that... That's where you like, oh, okay, I want to nominate. And I, I only vote in four different categories, but then you oh. get the final ballot and that is super serious. Does everyone try to send... Does anyone ever try to send you like a big trunk of money? No, but you get on these emails that go for your consideration. Right. The only thing I've ever voted on, I'm in the, I'm in SAG, so I vote on the SAG Awards, and it makes which you which is big. Well, it's cool to vote. You get the ballot, and it's got everything there. But yeah, I, I'm I'm not the right person to pick for that. Short attention span. Okay, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. So you get this package, and at yes. that point, is it right in who you think should be in, or have they already said here who we're looking at? Yeah, then they sort of narrow it down. I get the narrow down. Okay, narrow down. So who is this year? Who are we looking at? Uh, you it's ready? A, it's a pretty big list. Because I'd like to know, I'd, I'd really like to know your opinion. Oh, Again, I, all genres. See, that's the problem. Is I, It's tough for me to judge uh, other genres. But, I mean, I have a little bit I could add to it. But who, who's on the list? Okay, Mary J. Blige, Mariah Carey, Cher, Dave Matthews Band, Eric B. and Rakim, hmm. Foreigner, Peter Frampton, Jane's Addiction, Pool and the Gang, Lenny Kravitz, Oasis, Sinead O'Connor, Ozzy Osbourne, Sade, Sade, and a tribe called Quest. I think you're right. Sade, I think is how you say it. But so then it's going to get cut in half? Yeah, and then you get the final nominees. So. Well, if here's you get the other cut, thing. You have to have been making music, though, for a while. The artist, here's the criteria. The artist must have put out its first release at least 25 years ago. In the end, the 15 acts with the most votes make it onto the ballot, and then the top vote getters on that ballot is voted upon by a larger pool, about 600 people, which is, you know, what I'm on. They uh, get the final, the honor of actually being named the nominees. Okay, well, the, fr from your list, if I was a voter, I would cut Cher. I don't know why. I'd, just, I'd cut Cher. The I'd thing cut... I like about Cher, though, is that she has been successful in every decade. Kind of, re you know, talk about reinvention. Yeah. You and I were talking about Madonna. She has been very relevant right. over the years. Some people, I think it's too early. See, so here I'm going to so, argue one that you're going to maybe disagree. Jane's Addiction. Yeah, I feel like it's too soon for Jane's. Right. Yeah, no, I'm with you there. And remember we talked about Foreigner the other day? They should totally be in. About Mark Ronson and that that whole audio thing he put together with all the artists? Yeah. Remember that? 
Yeah, that's yeah. He, he should be in. Lenny Kravitz? I think, I think Warner should be in. Lenny Kravitz? I could go either way on Lenny. Really? I will say, I because it might be too soon for Lenny. Yeah, I, guess, I could see your point. And he, he kind of disappears for big chunks of time. Oasis? Let me tell you, uh, Oasis. <laughs> well, hold on. Oasis is a very valid argument. It is a valid argument. Love the music. Uh, and then you go, will they show up? <laughs> Remember that? Didn't Liam make some sort of snide comment? Yeah, I thought he would even go. That he would. Remember right? that? And or, he sort or, of left it up in the air whether he would show up or not? Sinead O'Connor. Yes, a definite, I think. Because why? I feel like her music stood the test of time. But if you if you compare some of these, if you compare even Sinead, cross genre, Sinead to Ozzy Osbourne, and you think and you think body of work is that what you're thinking? Because you had body Ozzy and work. then you had Black Sabbath, and you have yeah. a, a, you're a long term force in music. I kind of think Ozzy should be in it. Right. I'm saying whether you like Ozzy Osbourne or not, and I'm not you know no diss on Sinead. Of course she's talented. Is she worthy? That's man, that's hard. It's really hard, and you know sometimes you wonder if people are going to vote for someone posthumously because they passed yeah. away. Like, are they the going to get that vote? How how much does it affect sales? Is it like when you win a Grammy? Does it affect? I think, so. I think it does. It does. Do so they put little stickers on that say Hall of Fame? And then you know now you can actually watch it, which is great. Remember years ago, I don't think you could even see it. Now you get yeah. to actually watch it. How much does the fan vote count? We're talking about the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame if you're tuning in. Leslie is a voter on the Grammys, too. I did not know I was sitting here with such royalty. Well, it says, it does say fans around the world can participate in the selection process through April 26th. Fans can vote online every day at vote.rockhall.com. Go vote, Barnes. The top five artists selected by the public will comprise a fan's ballot that will be tallied along with the other ballots to determine the inductees. So they are part of it. I wish I knew the weight. Okay, I'm voting right now. Just I don't know the weight, but that's knee a good question. I can pick up to seven. I'm going to vote Peter Frampton. Yeah, go ahead. Frampton. I'm going to vote Ozzy Osbourne. Mm-hmm. I'm going to vote Lenny Kravitz. Mm-hmm. I'm going to vote Mariah Carey, although I cannot stand her music, but I recognize. See, I did good as a voter. Wait, and, you have a few more. And No, uh, yeah, Dave Matthews. Foreigner, three, four, five, six. Ooh, and one more between Sade, Jane's Addiction, Sinead O'Connor, Oasis, Mary J. You've got to go, yeah, Queen of Hip Hop Soul, Mary J. Well, you don't tell me what to vote. How no, about, I know. Did you? But yeah, did you mention there. her? Mary J's there. Cool in oh. the gang and Eric B and Rakim. I'm gonna vote Cool in the gang. Sorry, Mary. You're gonna have to wait one more cycle. You're going to celebrate. Yeah, good celebrate times. good times. Come, Come on. on. All right, I just voted. We're good. Well, that's interesting. I had no idea how much goes into that. And we'll know soon. By the soon. way, um, it will stream live on Disney Plus with a special airing on ABC at a later date. Can we do a live vote when you do your ballot? Can we, stream or have live. you done it already? Have you already done it? I You're did real? my ballot. I'm not going to mention who I voted for, but if I think watch the live stream before they edit it, because then you see all kinds of crazy stuff. All right. Well, we already had a Rock and Roll Hall of Fame member on this year. We've had a few. We had Cheryl Crow. Mick yeah. Jagger, I'm assuming, is already in. Yep. And remember, Cheryl was so great, too. What other Hall of Famer do we have on? Um, well, oh, we've had to have had other Hall of Famers. Come on. Is John Mayer not in Rock yet? Rock and... I don't think so. Hall of he Fame. He would definitely qualify. Honorees. I think. All right. There you go. There's your FAQ for the R&R HOF. Are you down? Wow. Yeah. You did that fast. Well, it just it kind of all fit. This is the original. It is 99X.